the I need and the I should mentality that often sabotages us as moms, as women, as humans in general, right? Feeling desperate for a quick fix or forcing ourselves into certain molds or actions can lead us into dysregulation, resistance, anxiety, frustration, but lucky us, right? Yay, we can rewire that mentality. (laughs) We'll learn how to rework our thought life and habits to align with our highest self by identifying our subconscious expectations and showing ourselves compassion. We can choose again from a place of peace and inner trust. Join me on this transformative journey this episode to reclaim control and embrace our power within. Let's dive in. Hey mama, welcome to the Balanced Mom Method podcast. I know you're here because you're tired of living day after day like you're drowning in the responsibilities of motherhood. You're done struggling with trying to find the time and energy to get it all done every day. And you want to show your little ones a good example, but you're so exhausted, which has your negative self-talk on repeat, your patience spread thin, and you feel like you're losing yourself a little more every day. Plus, the mom guilt, societal comparison game, and unpredictabilities of motherhood just does not help in trying to make a change. Well, sweet friend, this podcast will guide you on how to connect with yourself to break free from that survival mode cycle, all by identifying and possibly simplifying your habits. Hey, I'm Jenna, and I've been where you are. I was consumed in the struggles of motherhood, and I needed to make a change to take back control of my time energy, identity, and life. And in finding that freedom, it became my mission to help make that connection with moms that we can give our children and families the best and not at the expense of our own health, self, and well-being. Moms shouldn't have to choose between their families, priorities, and themselves. We can balance it all, and it all starts within ourselves. Let me take your hand and make that connection with you and equip you with simple, lifelong habits. If you are ready to say goodbye to just surviving and finally reclaim your life and motherhood, then you are in the right place. Let's get to the root of cultivating real change because it's time to feel like you again. Warm up that cold coffee, pop in your earbuds, and tighten that top knot, mama. Let's overcome together. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Balanced Mom Method podcast, your host, Jenna here, an intuitive mindset and habit coach helping you wake up from autopilot live in the present moment, expand your consciousness and feel good again. And I just have to plug here. Welcome to episode 44. I love me a good angel number. And let's just take a quick moment. Shut your eyes if you're able. If not, totally okay. Shut your eyes if you're able and just take in a deep breath with me. And lean in to the gratitude and the expansive love within you that you are radiating out within your life. Hands on my chest right now. I am showing you, sending you so much love, so much light. I am imagining just my heart, this expansive energy just radiating to you right now. Mm. All right. Also, I would need to share... So much appreciation for all of my clients, moms in our motherhood empowerment community, moms who have emailed me, sent me a message on social media. Oh my gosh, I've just replied to an email with a mom that I work with. And if you are unfamiliar with the Balanced Mom Method course, it is a 12-week online course that unpacks how you can take back control of your time, energy, identity, and life by building your inner foundations first. We get into that depth of the groundwork, that inner soul work, the inner habits, because then your outer habits cannot be shaken because you're building them the right way from within. So the transformation here is feeling and living life again with peace, presence, confidence, clarity, and balance on a soul level, waking up from autopilot, feeling like you again. And it is such a beautiful thing to hear from my students that are well on their way. And I have to share this because it's it's really important. <laughs> you might feel, because we have all been there, right? You might feel like you're just going to wake up one day and be different. Like that transformation will be there, right? You're going to be a completely different person. And I will say there are moments to where I, I do like wake up and feel like a different person. However, where I'm going with this is it's not an overnight process, Okay. If you wake up the next day feeling like a different person, 
It's not going to happen. All that work, all that root work, that is not happening overnight. I like to compare mindset growth, rewiring your thought life, your thought patterns, your habitual behaviors, habits in general, to like strength training or exercising, okay? You don't just all of a sudden snap your fingers and you have all this strength in the world and these massive physical external results, right? You slowly, incrementally start building that strength. You might not see it yet, but you're slowly building this this strength and, and then you're seeing the results over time. You realize like, wow, I can lift heavier or my endurance is longer. So when you do realize like, oh, I can lift heavier, maybe that was overnight, but it, the buildup was not overnight, okay? This is growth. This is the beauty of your life work. It isn't going to be a black and white change overnight, but soon you will start to see the shifts, see the progressive, the progressions that you're going through. And it's just so, so beautiful. And I love seeing and feeling myself included, but my moms go through such powerful transformations. This is life work, y'all. So I just want to say thank you so, so much again and kudos to all you mamas. <sighs> yes. And okay, I'm time stamping this here. We'll get into the episode in just a second, <laughs> but I'm time stamping this episode right now. Um, by the time that this episode airs, I will be a week into my month social media detox, if you want to call it. Um so July 24th, I'm trying to like backtrack here because it's July 20th as I'm recording this and this is going to be airing on the 31st. So as of July 25th, I took a month off of social media completely and I hope this is going to be like my future Jenna speaking here that I will feel lighter, that this kind of weight and tightness in my chest will be dissolving or dissolved and that I won't feel this resistance and pull to, to step back. Like I have felt this, this need for so long to step away from social media. But like my business brain here is like, no, 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 that's just, you know, whatever talking. And you need social media to grow a business. You need social media to reach more moms. You need to be able to serve on any platform that you can and that that's been my ego talking, right? I have felt this urge and this pull to step away from social media for close to a year now. And if you have followed me for a while, you probably have noticed I do not have as much of a social media presence as I have had in the past, but I've never done something like this before. And again, future me talking here, I hope that I'm feeling amazing. <laughs> By the time that this airs, I'll check back in that first week in August because um, I don't know when I'm going to be recording that episode. But yeah, so here we go. I I just want to, the, the reason that I wanted to share that was if you have these, these polls on your heart, if you have, you know, these little messages or downloads coming in and they, they keep coming in like the same ones over and over and over again, but you're not listening to them because maybe those societal expectations or peer pressure or or you just feel like that's silly or whatever that might be, but you, you know deep down that there's a reason that you keep getting that same message over and over again, that may be your intuition talking. And I've resisted that for so long because it's life, right? This is like my human nature. Like social media is a huge part of our society. And I think that's why I need to step away because it's just not me. And once I had a dream a couple weeks back that I needed, like I had a very vivid dream, like this is, that was my download. That was my message. That's what I needed. And that was okay. Now I say, yes, I will do this. So definitely not, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. It's kind of hard to like be talking in the in the future here because I'm not um, there yet. But yeah, okay, here we go. That is me just telling you, if you have that poll, listen to that poll. Say yes to your intuition. Say yes to the Holy Spirit. Say yes to listening to that loving guidance. It will always be loving guidance to you. All right, <laughs> let's dive into the nitty of this episode. The I need and the I should mentality. I need it now. I need it fast. I need a quick fix or 
I should be doing this. I should act this way. I should feel like this. I think collectively as moms and as as women, as, as humans, we could all say we have felt, thought, or said something along those lines before. We're, we're feeling this desperation towards something, so we naturally shift into this forceful energy, right? Thinking that if we act on this I need or this I should X, Y, Z, and it happens, then everything will resolve itself and it'll all be rainbows and butterflies. However, what this does create, this desperation, this force, it's creating dysregulation within yourself. It's creating resistance and anxiety and panic and frustration and anger and judgment and act out of desperation and force. I did not plan this, but as I'm speaking right now, that was me with social media. I should be on social media because insert, you know, all those reasons, right? The business, the, the marketing, whatever that is, right? And I'm, whoa, I just have like a full circle moment right now because that was, that was me, right? And I was feeling forced. I, I feel the resistance. Like I, I had this, this resistance in my chest for so long and it doesn't feel good, right? None of it feels good. It doesn't feel enjoyable. It doesn't feel expansive. It doesn't feel fun or exciting. And that means you're not living within your highest self. Instead, we feel worse. Our wheels are spinning. We're struggling. We're trying to like figure out why, right? And I'm, I, oh my gosh, I'm getting goosebumps because this episode is speaking to my heart. <laughs> so many episodes do, but like this, this was me and this full transparency, this still is me sometimes. I just shared like that full circle moment I just had. So how to rework your thought life and habits to rewire your energy towards your desires. Let's start here. Okay. So everyone, everyone has expectations about what they think certain parts of their lives should look like. Let it be financial, relationships, self, business, right? Pulling myself back into the story here. You have this general expectation and everyone's is different within their lives, which is so, so beautiful, right? That is why I love the work that I do because I'm able to serve moms on a level outside of this cookie cutter approach, okay? Because it's it's really connecting back to self and, and starting within and and then, <laughs> reel in the back in, if then that expectation is not met, right? So we have this expectation about what you think certain parts of your life should look like. And then if that expectation is not met, that is when the anxieties, the frustrations, the force, the resistance comes in. And then have you ever found yourself saying something like, when it rains, it pours and everything just seems to be snowballing, right? Right? Something along those lines, like my my hand is up. I'm speaking this whole episode with my hands. That's when you know I'm really passionate about this. (laughs) That's like every episode of it. I speak with my hands all the time. But my hand is up right now. Like by golly, that is the truth. And I want to bring light here because a lot of us have these expectations that are living within our subconscious minds. And we have no idea that we are living with these expectations within us. However, we're experiencing the the reality of it being unmet. So we're experiencing kind of that that end result of it not being met, but within our subconscious is where that expectation lies and that's what we have to unpack. So here is what the interest is, the interesting thing that happens is when you have this unmet expectation, something you feel you should have or should do or that you need or experience versus the life that you're actually living now, so this expectation is looking different than your actual re- reality. This is what creates that pressure, that force, that resistance, that stress within your body. Because let it be your expectation is subconscious or possibly it is a conscious expectation. You know that you have it and it's just not being met. This space is creating that should mentality. I should be this far. I should be making this. I should be doing this. Like that should mentality, it is so brutal. It packs weight. Okay. It holds pressure because it carries a lot of judgment. And y'all know on this show, judgment is something we want to stop doing to ourselves and to others. So how do we get from that space, the pressure, the force, the judgment, the anxiety that should space to that space of release, that space of allowing, that space of acceptance to the present moment? 
Step one of my IASI approach in the Balanced Mom Method formula, identify, acknowledge, become aware, reframing and finding peace now because feeling anxious, stressed, it doesn't support you in your highest good. Being in a constant panic and forceful energy does not support you. You need to reframe and find inner peace now, happiness now. I have so many episodes on ways to do this. Golly, like episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 11, 17, 21, 23, 30, 33, 35, 36, 41, 43. That was a lot, <laughs> but it, it's natural to happen though. So just, just know that you're not alone. I'm sorry, my dog is barking right now. Someone keeps opening and closing car doors. So if you hear him, I apologize. But it's natural for this to happen. That is just how how we're wired as humans. So this is me holding space for you. And I'm asking you to hold space for you to release the judgments. If you're feeling any sort of feels listening to this right now, if you're being triggered or if you're just like just getting frustrated listening to this right now, Hold space for yourself because it is a natural human experience. And once we become aware is when we can make intentional moves to step out because just because it's natural doesn't mean that's how it has to be, right? So since it's happening naturally within our brain, that is where there are tools and strategies that you can learn what we really dive into the Balanced Mom Method course and coaching to be able to rewire that thought life. But let's continue to dive into a little of this right now. So number one was step one of the IASI approach, identify. Number two is connect to yourself and show yourself compassion. When we are needing and shooting all over ourselves, we are getting lost in this cycle and this downward spiral. So let's take back the reins. After you identify what you're doing, I'm like pulling up a rope right now. You're taking back the reins and connect to yourself. When you're feeling the judgment, that should, that urgency, that force, can you just wrap your arms around yourself, sink in to that moment of your hug and say to yourself, hey, it's okay that you feel this way. And when you're ready, you have the power to choose again. So if you can allow yourself to sink into that moment, you can recognize in that present moment because that is the only moment that ever exists, going real deep with you here, you'll recognize in that moment that you will feel safe and heard and loved and supported and validated. And what that does is it creates more inner self-trust to be able to actively find a solution without that energy of force and desperation and panic. Number three is practice the choose again method. Episode 23 really dives into this approach, but essentially you are choosing that next best thought to get you to a good feeling or a good thought. So of ease and calm and love support. So the important thing to recognize in this moment is what do you need? Do you need support or solutions? Do you need love and support or do you need like an actual solution to move out, to step out? Think of that position that you are in right now. Because if you're connecting to yourself and giving yourself that compassion at that point, that is the love. You are telling yourself that you it is okay that you feel this way. You are validating yourself. That is the love and compassion. And at that point, you may feel ready for active solutions. And that is when you choose again. A way to create space to do X, Y, Z. Insert where that initial need to or should be was in the first place. So the biggest takeaway here is when you are in a panic, you are in an anxious state, an overwhelm, fight or flight, you are pushing away whatever it is that you're trying to force to work or make happen in the first place. So take a step back, connect with yourself, show yourself compassion, validation, and love. And then when you're ready, choose again. Hmm. Oh, like deep breaths. <sighs> I started this episode with immense gratitude and I want to end with the same. I am so proud of every single person that is just at that point of ready for growth, ready for expansion. They're they're ready and willing to say yes to it. And I just want to give you an immense amount of gratitude 
that there is nothing, like there is nothing that lights me up more than a mama stepping into her power, saying that she is willing and ready just to to do her life work and to work with me. That would be the biggest honor because I selfishly, I, I get to witness your transformation and there is like nothing better than that. Like nothing, being a coach, being a mentor, nothing tops that transformation that you are able to help and serve someone else. Like nothing tops that. Watching my mamas transform, step into their power, into their highest self, it is truly so powerful, so, so impactful. And within the Balanced Mama Method experience, it is a, I'm going to say it again, powerful, impactful journey of self-discovery where you'll learn to how to listen to your intuition and heal from inner turmoil, create sustainable habits that align with your desired lifestyle. You can step out of survival mode, wake up from autopilot, and step into a life of mental strength, confidence, clarity, balance, presence, joy, ah, saying yes to reclaiming control and embrace the transformative power within you. If you are ready to continue to say yes to yourself, head to the Start Here page on my website to see if a free clarity call, one-on-one coaching, group coaching, a self-paced course, I have so many resources on that page. You can see what avenue that you feel is best for you to take that we can work together. Naturallyempoweredliving.com forward slash products and or always my inbox is always open. Not my Instagram right now, not my Facebook right now, but my email inbox is always the best way to get in contact with me. Hello at naturallyempoweredliving.com. Shoot me over a message anytime just to say hi. If you feel that you just need to release, to vent, whatever it might be, my inbox is always open. So naturallyempoweredliving.com forward slash products to see what free and paid resources, what services that you feel would be best to get started to work together or always my inbox is open hello at naturallyempoweredliving.com until next week as always be you mama you have everything inside of you to reach your breakthrough i'm sending my love thank you find this episode very well worth a farming we we mama worth you thank you so much for spending this time with me on the balanced mom method podcast i pray this episode has grown and helped you in some way If it has, I'd be so grateful if you left a review sharing how it's impacted you. It truly lights me up hearing you're on your way to your breakthrough. And then, please share this episode with another mom who may be struggling to remind her we are never alone. And remember, there isn't ever a one-size-fits-all to overcoming our personal hardships, but there are a lot of parallels with how we show up to our lives and common habits we can make our own to live an intentional life full of peace, presence, confidence, clarity, and balance. Be sure to check the show notes for additional ways to connect with me, our mom community, and resources and courses for you to overcome your survival mode cycle once and for all with doable habits. Thank you. I appreciate all you are and all you do. Sending my love and light.